In this tutorial, you will learn how to design a Twitter header in Photoshop. First step, create the background. Create a new document. Give it a color with paint bucket tool. Step 2. Add text. Write your name or a celebrity name. In my case, it's Kelly Rowland. Write it two times. Once the first name on a row, the second time first name on a row and the last name on another row. Make the text bigger. Ctrl plus T and drag the text the way I did. Now, write smaller the Facebook account and the Instagram account. You can just duplicate the first text with Ctrl plus J and change its color. You can move both text, selecting them with Ctrl in the layer section. Again, write your first name with an elegant font and make it black. Now, write your last name with a bold font and make it white. Click right, rotate. Click right, blending options and check drop shadow. Step 3. I chose a photo with Kelly Rowland who just announced she is pregnant with her second child. With quick selection tool, select subject. Now, move it over the cover. Make the photo smaller, Ctrl plus T. Now, erase around her body with erase tool. In my case, I have to make some adjustments. I select the part where it should be her arm. I go to Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and Erase again with Erase Tool. Duplicate it with Ctrl plus G. Select the photo behind. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Erase again if it's necessary. Step 4. Add elements. I use brush tool for this step. If you want to learn how to add social media icons as brushes, I have another tutorial on my channel about how to add new brushes in Photoshop. Because this is a Twitter header, I decided to have the Twitter logo bigger. Another element you can add is a Polaroid photo. Make a new layer. Make a white rectangle with rectangle tool. Don't forget to make a new layer. Now, make a black rectangle with rectangle tool. Drag another photo over the black rectangle, click right, choose create clipping mask. And rotate it. Now, for the white rectangle, create a drop shadow. 